Alright guys, before you start calling me a jetpacker, <laughs> let me explain myself. Yo, what is going on guys? It's your friendly neighborhood jetpacker. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Prodigy. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Today I have a topic video about Modern Warfare Remastered and basically it's just about why I don't play it as much and why I don't upload videos about it on my channel that often or pretty much at all for that matter. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and without further ado, Let's get right into it. So I just want to start off by saying I do like this game, like Modern Warfare Remastered is a fun game to play, so let me explain this the best that I can. The game sucks. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. So basically, I like MWR, but I don't like playing the game, if that makes sense. Maybe you'd better understand it if I said it like this. This isn't for all of you, but for some of you. You guys like Call of Duty, but you fucking hate Infinite Warfare. See, does that make more sense? I, I bet it does. So yeah, anyways, I do like MWR. Like, it's a cool game. It's a fun game. But I just don't like playing the game at all. Like, I don't know. It's kind of boring to me. It's kind of slow. And I know what you're going to say. Oh, you're a jetpacker. Jetpacks make you more faster in the game. Jetpacks make you move quicker. But no, it's not that at all. Like, I just think the game's a little bit too slow to be played like how it is. Like, and it's just not about going from Infinite Warfare to MWR like it's just slow like I played Black Ops 2 I played Modern Warfare 3 and those are all pretty fast boots on the ground games like you can slide you can you know move faster but in this game for some reason like you're super super slow when you move around like the game is super slow paced Black Ops 2 is slow paced but it's faster than this game MW3 is faster than this game all the other cards that I play that are boots on the ground are much faster than MWR, which is kind of weird to me that this game is so much slower. Like, all the old Call of Duties are boots on the ground, but it's just that this game in particular is really slow compared to the others. Like, compared to the other games, this one, like, there's no sliding, there's no dolphin diving, there's nothing. You basically just walk around and just hide in corners, and people play this game so weird, too. Like, they play super, super strange. Like, they either sit in their spawn the whole game and snipe, they either just sit in corners the whole game and snipe, they sit in the dumbest places and just camp the whole game. Like, you pretty much have to go on a scavenger hunt to find people in this game for MWR. Like, it's just weird how people play this game. But I was thinking about it, and I think there is one big reason why I don't like playing MWR. The one reason is because I'm not that attached to the game. And here's why. So back in middle school, when I was like 11 or 12 years old, like 7 or 8 years ago, that was when I was first allowed to play Call of Duty or any M-rated games. Before middle school, I couldn't play any M-rated games, nothing like with gore or shooting or weapons nothing like that I can play Halo because that wasn't as bad but for Call of Duty years of war not really but I could play Halo so because of that I never played COD 4 and do I know why I couldn't play until middle school uh, I don't know I don't know why I couldn't play it but now that I can play I'm not that attached to MWR as much as I should be if I played the game all the way back then and if you're laughing that I couldn't play until I was 12 yeah, it's kind of funny, but a lot of you wouldn't be playing this game either if your parents didn't buy the game for you. But anyways, that is why I'm not attached to the game, so when I play it now, like, it's fun to play, but I'm not like, you know, oh my god, it's the best COD ever, it's the greatest Call of Duty ever made, because I didn't really play it back when it was actually, like, the best thing in the world. Because when I could start playing Call of Duty, I started playing Black Ops 2 and Modern Warfare 3. Those are my games that I started on. And those are the games that I love, and I think they're the best CODs in my opinion. My favorite COD is MW3, so when I think of COD 4, I don't think, like, oh my god, it's the greatest game ever. Like, I think it's a good COD, I think it's a good Call of Duty, but I'm not that fond of it and not that attached to it as some of you guys probably are. But don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the game is terrible, I like the game, the game is fun to play at times, but I just don't enjoy the game as much as you guys probably play it. But guys, long story short, I don't play the game now because I didn't have an interest in it back then when the game was actually out and released, so I don't really have a desire to play the game as much as I would with Infinite Warfare or Overwatch, but I still do like playing the game from time to time. But if there's ever any big news or an update for MWR, I'll make a video for it just to keep you guys in the loop and know what's going on. So that, guys, is the end of the video. I hope you guys all enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more great Call of Duty content like this 
and more great videos to come in the future. Thanks for watching once again. I'll see you all in the next video. This is Prodigy. Have a great day. Peace out, everybody. That's why I do this for you. I do this for my father. Move I've only seen from time to time in my dreams. I do this for you. I do this for my mother. Who's finally clean. You no longer a fan. I do this for you. I do this for my sister. My wife and my kids. Cause they part of the team. I do this for you. All the naysayers and haters who made me one of the greatest. I know it kills you inside. That's why I do this for you. I do this for the kids who sit a bit outside the mix.